Hi, Dave Soriano. I'm a chemistry professor in Western Pennsylvania, USA. Uh, right now, you're looking at a secondary battery comprised of zinc as your cathode and tin as your anode. It's in an aqueous solution of uh, 60 grams of sodium carbonate in water and uh, we charged it up with a uh, AC-DC converter which uh, delivers 5 volts about 500 milliamps. We give it about 10 minutes of charge. Some of this original work appears in a patent, uh, patent applications by inventor John Stauffer, Stauffer in uh, Connecticut. Some of his work captured my interest. There's not a lot of information in his uh, patent disclosures, but it, uh, what he does have is, is definitely reproducible in my hands. Mm -hmm. The solution remains rather clear. It has a uh, somewhat of a metallic appearance to it, the electrolyte but uh, I'm able to charge it up and uh, we're over two volts but it's uh, dropping down now uh, this is uh, open circuit with a closed circuit um, I'm pulling out uh, about a hundred milliamps maybe more so there's a quite a bit of in I'm interested in uh, with this um, I'm interested in the number of cycles I want to go up to uh, minimum 20 50 cycles I'm interested in internal resistance and uh, if these electrodes will hold up the surface of them here's uh, one of them Let's take a look at it and it is uh, in your screen right now see that surface that's the tin that black material on there it's on there pretty good. That's your uh, tin 2 oxide as described by Stauffer. That's your tin 2 oxide. And uh, what we find with this secondary or rechargeable battery the elemental zinc goes to plus 2 enters solution and the elemental tin electrode, your uh, anode, well you're going to generate some uh, with recharging you're going to get some uh, tin 4 oxide and then that will drop down to tin 2 oxide and that's what you're seeing on that electrode because tin 2 oxide is black tin 4 oxide is uh, colorless so that's how we're getting a, a secondary battery here I'll be interested in uh, making some adaptations uh, I'm quite interested in uh, converting over quite possibly to the use of uh, selected ionic liquid electrolytes and uh, then trying to get this battery into uh, a form that is mobile. Right now we're limited to the aqueous solution but it's a good start and uh, uh, tin, uh, tin and zinc uh, that has some uh, promise. You also mentioned tin, tin, uh, mentioned tin and lead but uh, this is going to be worthy of investigation. We're not at equilibrium with the uh, EMF. That'll drop down, but uh, this is right after charging it. I've done a couple of charges. Uh, the tin 2 oxide on the electrode shows up after one cycle. You'll start to see it, and then uh, after two or three, uh, you have a nice coating. I also took this. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but I took the... Uh, tin anode and basically made a poor man so-called crow's feet like the original voltaic I, with tin snips cut sections of it and spread it out to uh, increase amperage. We'll keep you posted and uh, you may want to try your hand at it and uh, let us know uh, the results you're getting. Tin zinc secondary battery. Thanks for watching. Bye.